Hello, James here from Iconic. Uh, in this video, I'm going to guide you through adding delivery slots to your WooCommerce checkout. So by default, your checkout looks like this. Uh, this is the storefront theme, and you can see, obviously, you just enter your billing details, uh, your shipping details if required, and then you place your order. So one of our plugins from uh, Iconic allows you to add delivery slots to your checkout page. So as your customers place in their order, they can choose when uh, and at what time they want their order to be delivered. So all you have to do is install the plugin, which will be sent to you in a zip format once you purchase it. Once activated, you'll want to enter your license key. And the default settings will actually add the delivery date and time slot fields to your checkout automatically. So what you'll want to do is come to the uh, WooCommerce delivery slot settings panel, um, go to the general settings, and you can choose where in your checkout the delivery slot delivery slot fields show up. You can choose which shipping methods it shows up for. So if your store has multiple shipping methods, uh, for example, you could have delivery or collection, you could choose to show the delivery slots fields only when the customer is placing an order for delivery and not for collection. You can exclude certain products and you can exclude certain categories. So if any of these products are in the cart, or if any of the products in the cart are in any of these categories, then you can disable delivery slots for those particular products and categories. The next tab is the date settings tab. So you can choose to make the fields required. You can show a description for the field and you can change the theme of the date picker. So at this point in time, the plugin uses the jQuery UI date picker and it's defaulted to the smoothness theme. Uh, but you can choose any of the themes available and you can just preview them all here. You can choose which days your store delivers. So even if it's a Sunday, your customers can still place an order for delivery at any time during the week in this setup. You can choose the minimum date they could select. So zero would be same day, one would be next day, two is the day after that. And you can choose how far in the future they can select a delivery date as well. So this is set to two weeks. If you set this to zero, you can choose to disable the same day delivery if the current time is after a certain time. Um, so you could say, you know, if it's after 12 o'clock, then they can't place the same day delivery anymore. And the same for next day. You can also add additional fees based on the day they choose of the week uh, and also whether it's same day or next day. So for example, if you've got a fee on Sunday of $5 and uh, they're ordering on a Sunday so that it's the same day delivery, uh, you can add another $5 to that. So it would make 10 extra dollars of fees. The next thing you want to do is set up your time settings. And this is where you configure your time slots. So you can choose again to enable them or disable them. So you could have just the date if you want. You can choose whether it's required, choose the format of your time, uh, show the description. And you can also enable ASAP delivery, which means, you know, I don't want it at a specific time. Just deliver it as soon as you can. And you can charge an additional fee for that and also disable um, ASAP delivery after a certain time on the current day. Then down here you can choose your specific time slots. So you could say you want to add a time slot between 2.30 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. Um, you want to allow bookings for this time slot uh, up until 2 a.m., so 30 minutes before 2.30. And you want to lock this time slot after it receives four orders on any specific day. 
you can choose which shipping method you want to enable a time slot for. Um, obviously, we've only got one method at the moment, so it's just showing us as any method. But if you've got multiple methods, again, like delivery or collection, you could have different slots set up for delivery and different slots set up for collection. You can charge additional fees based on the slot they choose, so we'll add two there. And again, you can choose which days this particular time slot is available. These are obviously the default settings that you get given uh, once you install the plugin. So now if we look at the checkout page and we click the delivery date field, you can see the date picker shows up. Uh, we can choose which day we want our delivery to be made. So we can say the 6th of April and we want it to arrive between 2.30 and 10.45 a.m. And you can see it adds our additional fees to the order. And then we can process the order as normal. Choose cash on delivery. And then once you place the order, the delivery details are added to that thank you page. Uh, they also get sent in the email. And then you can come through here to the delivery section and you get to view all of the upcoming uh, deliveries in this kind of easy to view format. Um, so you can see here we've got an upcoming delivery for April the 6th and it's between 2.30 and 10.45 a.m. for these products. And there's a link to the, uh, the product to the order and we can see who the customer is and we can see the status of the order so on top of that we can go to the orders section and you can see the extra delivery column here which shows the delivery date and the time slot we can order it by that obviously the site's only got one uh, order at the moment but it will order it by the date and then the time slot and on top of that, you can choose to filter the orders by deliveries that are due today, deliveries that are due tomorrow, and it'll work out what deliveries are upcoming. So we can filter by April at the moment because we've got one due in April. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward to add the delivery slots uh, to the checkout and the settings are pretty flexible to allow you to set up schedules to your own preferences. On top of that, there's also a short code that we can use to allow your customers to reserve a slot while they shop. Um, so if I just pop on here, just delete some of this sample content. And add in a short code block. Iconic WooCommerce delivery slots, uh, reservation table, reservation table, and update that. And if we look at that page now, we get this table view of uh, available dates to reserve delivery. You can scroll through the dates up until your limit. And you can see which slots are already locked or unavailable. And it will also show the additional fees. Um, we had a fee for this time slot, which was $2. So if you click on one of them, we've reserved 12.30 to 1.45 on Friday the 10th. Now if we come through here, add a product to our cart and go to the checkout, you'll see that that date and time is already selected. Um, and those slots are reserved for the customer for however long you set in the settings. So if we go to the reservation table, the slot is reserved for 30 minutes. And there's a few kind of configuration options you can set here as well. Um, so you can customize the colors of that reservation table. And the great thing about using it as a shortcode is that you can place this anywhere. 
uh, on your site so you could place it on your home page you know on, on a special reservation page uh, even on your cart page and that's it i hope that gives you a quick overview of how you can add delivery slots to your woocommerce store quite easily uh, and also gives an idea of the flexibility that you can achieve with this particular plugin there's a link in the description below of where to get the plugin and let me know if you've got any questions